Hey, hey YouTube. Okay, so we are on a trip with our friends in Denver, Colorado, but we took a day trip to Colorado Springs. Um, Colorado Springs is actually pretty near and dear to our heart. It is actually where we honeymooned. Yep. Um, we're from the East Coast and we got married during COVID, so we couldn't go anywhere international. So we spent a pretty awesome week in Colorado Springs. So um, right now we're at Garden of the Gods, which is amazing. Um, we came with a group of friends, so they're over there but we're showing them all of the best things that we experienced in our week here before, all in a day. <laughs> um, so we'll show you around. Uh, this is stop number one for Colorado Springs, Garden of the Gods. So in addition to just being completely breathtaking, Garden of the Gods is awesome because it's completely free to get into. It is considered a national park, but you don't need a national parks pass to get in. Um, once you get in, they have different uh, ways that you can see it so you can they have hiking trails that you can hike around we saw some rock climbers um, they also just have a road that you can just drive right through it so if you're traveling with children um, who might get a little bored you can just keep them in the car and just go right through um, but you know you can only see it for a little bit or spend a whole day there it's really up to you but um, you know either way you'll get bang for your buck because it's free Next, we're going to check out one of the most famous peaks in all of Colorado, Pikes Peak. Okay, greetings from 14,000 feet up in the air. We were at the top of Pikes Peak. Um, it's not the tallest peak in Colorado. It's like the tallest of a certain section of it. Yeah, I, I think everyone I wants to claim like the tallest area in the Rocky Mountains. So everyone breaks it down to like it's the tallest in this area. But I think Pikes Peak is, peak is the most popular. I don't totally understand why. I think it's just like the most aggressive up. Um, but yeah. uh, the yeah. drive up is pretty harrowing it's from the pretty side. Pretty intense, yeah. Yeah, it looks like you'll just roll right off the mountain, but incredible, incredible views. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you some of those. So unfortunately, Pikes Peak is a little pricier. Um, it's $15 a person, which is kind of weird because most places only charge per car and this is actually per person. Um, so that's a little unfortunate, but I would definitely still recommend doing it. Um, it's really cool. Other reminders, just bring like a jacket or a long sleeve t-shirt as it does get really cold up there. Um, when we went, it was about 80 degrees, um, like high 80s down at the bottom and towards the top. It was like high 40s, low 50s, so it's very aggressive. Um, if you have issues with like asthma, you might have a tough time breathing. Um, I was okay personally, but you know, it, everyone's a little different. Um, but it's amazing views from the top and definitely recommend this one. So apparently if you try and fit an entire week's worth of stuff into one afternoon, you don't get as much accomplished as you would like. Um, so there's actually a lot more awesome things to do in Colorado Springs that we didn't get to. Um, it's actually all on our blog. If you want to check it out, we wrote it all out and I'll put it down in the comments too. But um, Manitou Cliff Dwellings are really cool. The in uh, Manitou Incline, Cave of the Winds uh, with the Pterodactyl, that's super fun. And um, Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, which as you know, we love zoos. That's literally the best zoo I've ever been to. It's really amazing. Um, so we didn't get to do all of that today. Hopefully we will be back in Colorado Springs soon so we can uh, get some more of that awesome stuff and show you guys. Um, but if you're planning a trip, definitely make sure you check out those other things in addition to Garden of the Gods and Pikes Peak. Um, we love Colorado. It's always so fun. Everywhere you look, it's, it's absolutely amazing. They, um, one of our best pictures that we took during our honeymoon um, was actually outside one of the uh, um, grocery stores. We were just getting our groceries, sun was setting, and it was just a beautiful view. So we snapped a picture, and uh, that's the one that everyone always says is uh, so breathtaking. So everywhere you look, it's absolutely uh, just, just beautiful. So. Yeah. Um, so if this is your first trip with us, make sure it's not your last. I'm Alyssa. I'm Brandon. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you can keep up with us and see where we are. And um, we'll see you on our next trip. See you soon. Bye.